Hello everyone. In today's session, we will learn how to create a new AMI from a snapshot and launch a new EC2 in AWS. For that, we have to follow this step one, that is create an AMI from a snapshot. So let's go to a AWS Management Console. Here I have in EC2 dashboard created one demo instance and it is in a running state. Now we will scroll down in the left side menu and in Elastic Block Store, we will click on Snapshots. Now here we have to create new snapshot. So we will click on Create Snapshot. For now, we are going to create snapshot using volume. So in volume ID, after scrolling down, I will select the volume I have created from the instances. Now, if you want to provide that, you can provide, it is not mandatory. Now I will click on create snapshot. So now you can see over here, I have created a snapshot, but it is in a pending state. So we will wait till it get completed. So it will take some time. We will wait for it. You can see in snapshot status, it is still pending. We have to wait. So now you can see over here, we have created a snapshot and it is completed. So we have created a snapshot. Now we will create an image out of it in step two. Now let's go to our snapshot. We will click here. You can see we have created a snapshot, it is completed. Now go back, click on this snapshot which we have created few minutes back and in actions we have to create image out of it. So we will click on create image from snapshot. So after clicking it, we have to provide the name for the image. For now, we will provide snapshot image. If you want to give any description, you may give it. Everything provided over here, we have to go with default one. Check it once, everything is done correct or not. And now we will click on create image. So you can see message over here that we have requested to create new image. To check our image is created or not, in the left side menu bar, we will scroll down and in images, we will click on AMIs. So here you can see we have just created a snapshot image. So click on it. You will see we have created it. Now go back to EC2 dashboard. So here we have completed two steps. One, creating an AMI from a snapshot. And second one, create an image out of it. So now we will launch a new EC2 instance from our AMI. So let's go to AWS EC2 dashboard here in instances. We have to launch new instance. So click on launch instance. So now page is loading. Here you have to provide the instance name. 
as I have provided snapshot image, I will provide the same name to our instance. So you will get the clear idea. And I am here providing one. So in the Amazon machine image, now you have to create the instance from the image you have created earlier. So we will select my AMI. And here you have to select snapshot image, which we have created few minutes back. And after that, in instance type, you have to go for the default key pair login. We will provide existing one. And now in security group, we will select the existing security group. After scrolling down, select it. We will go with default one. If you want to change that storage, you can change it. For now, I am going with the default version. So once again, go through the all details provided. So here we have provided AMI. And now we will click on launch instance. So instance is initialized and you will see over here message that our instance is successfully launched. So we will now go to instances. And here you can see that our snapshot image one instance is created, but its status is pending. So we will wait for it. So instance is now running and we will wait till its status check is passed. So we have to wait till these two by two checks pass. It will take a few minutes. Till then, we will check the summary of our created instance. See, here you have provided with IP address. After scrolling down, you will get all the information about your created instance type. Now we will once again check if your instance is ready or not. It will take few more minutes. Till then we will wait. We will go to EC2 dashboard and then click on instances and again we will check if our instance is ready or not. It's taking more time so we have to get so yes. Now here you can check that our status check is passed.